let's take a quick look at how to use the McGraw-Hill SimPath website. I've already created a video for you guys to take a look at McGraw-Hill Connect and I just have to say that these two learning environments are probably the best I've ever seen. These are, I think, will, will be, will make it so much easier for you guys to learn both the lecture portion uh, of just an introduction to computing, which is what McGraw Hill Connect is, and the lab portion that really will give you good instruction on how to use Microsoft, the Microsoft Office, Office products, and that's what McGraw Hill SimNet is. So let's take a look at SimNet and explore it. First, let's go ahead and click on the McGraw Hill Campus link. And of course, this takes us to our link that, uh, our, I guess, our gateway to take us to either Connect or to SimNet. I'm going to go ahead and go into SimNet here. All right, once you get into SimNet, you can see that all of your assignments are basically listed in the order in which they're due. There's one assignment that was here that was due on the uh, that was due on the second that some of y'all still may be working on, which is an an, uh, an office assignment that just kind of got you introduced to the Microsoft Office environment. Notice that one's not showing for this sample student here uh, because I've already finished it and it disappeared. So let's go ahead and and just take a look at this screen. You can see that in the yellow you've got SimPath assignments. The SimPath assignments basically are to teach you the skills that you need to know to be able to perform, and in this particular case, in Word. Then once you have, you've gone through the SimPath assignments, you will have projects to do. Notice for Chapter 1, that in Chapter 2 and Chapter 3, there are SimPaths. And then notice right here, there is a Word, there's a project for you to do, which will, that's something you'll do on your own in uh, Microsoft Word that you will submit to SimNet uh, so that it will grade it for you and you'll have multiple chances to do this and this is where you really find out if you know uh, you know or really learn what the SimPath uh, exercises taught you. Notice on each one of these you, it shows you the due date when it's due and notice you've got quite a few assignments due on September the 9th these projects However, these projects don't really take that long to do. The information we're trying to teach you is broken up into small chunks, and this can easily, easily be done in a week. If you work hard, you can do all this even in a weekend. So, uh, you know, pace yourself, especially by uh, dividing your time between the, the, the McGraw-Hill Connect and McGraw-Hill SimNet. If you'll do some work in this class each day, you will have... Uh, a pretty low stress experience with this and we you will do well in class. Notice as we work through all this and work through all of the Microsoft Word projects at the at the end of that there is a lab exam. And this is an exam that you will do uh, on your own with no help and it will be graded uh, for you so you should be well prepared for this uh, by the time you work through all these projects and all these sim paths. So again the SimPath is what is, is used to teach you. You'll get a grade on this, by the way, so you need to try to complete it at least to a level in which you're happy with it. You, you can work all the way through it and get 100. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this first SimPath to just show you the structure of it. So I click on this SimPath, which is creating and edit, editing documents in Word. And so notice each SimPath is divided into three parts. There's pretest, and you take the pretest, and that basically lets you show what you already know. And once you've taken the pretest, you'll go ahead and go into the lesson, and the only thing that will be included in the lesson once you've taken the pretest are the things you missed in the pretest. So you don't have to go back over everything that you already know. Once you've gone through the lesson to your satisfaction, then you will take the post test, and the grade in your post test will be a a portion of your lab grade and you can take this post test three times and you should <clears throat> pretty easily be able to make a hundred on this and the post test post test are usually pretty short depending on how well you've done on the pretest at any time of course you can go back and look at your textbook and uh, you know go back and check on um, you know what you're you know what you're not sure about and get some extra instruction there so uh, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and take uh, 
quickly take this pretest. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and click Start Exam. Again, this pretest doesn't count against you in any way, shape, form, or fashion. It's just a way to try to let the system know what you know so that it can only give you help on the things that you don't know. So notice I've got that I've got one of 40. These are all 40 uh, outcomes that you're expected to know about Microsoft Office or Microsoft Word. And so it's going to take you through a little pretest. Your post test is going to work exactly the same way. Notice on each question you get three attempts at that question. So if you click incorrectly, then you will have three attempts to get that uh, question correct. Notice the wording of the question. Check for spelling and grammar errors in the document. Correct the grammar error that is found. All right. So how would you know? How would we do that? I come over here and I click on spelling and grammar. Notice you see a. Uh, A mistake here. Uh, notice it's underlined in kind of a green. That means it's a grammar error. And if I want to know kind of how to correct that, notice it's over here. I can say, well, is this the correction I want to make? And if it, if sometimes the grammar will give you uh, corrections that it suggests that may not be correct, and you can ignore those. In this particular case, you know, the contraction it's should be the one that's used, and I can click change on that. Okay, so notice that. I got that, and now the question is correct, and I can go to the next question. I'm continuing to move through the uh, the pretest, and notice this one says change the selected text to be standard blue color. And there's the text that's been selected for you right there, and uh, I'm going to come in here, and here's where I change my text color. I click. It says the standard blue color. Notice these are thin colors. You start picking these, it won't be correct. The standard blue color. Go here and find blue. There it is. Click on that. Now you'll notice in each of the questions, you can see once it says correct, you can see that you your uh, your selection or your your answer actually worked. It's hard to see that blue there, but each time, if you need to look to see that. You know, what you did actually made something happen. You can look down here and it's just grayed out, but you can still see that it happened. Sometimes you'll be added to actually you'll be asked to actually type text into the document, as in this particular case, add the sentence head over heels as it decided to announce our grand reopening at the beginning of the first paragraph or the beginning of the paragraph. Well there's the beginning of the paragraph. And you just need to type this in. Notice that was incorrect because I misspelled reopening there. So I click OK. And unfortunately, it's going to let me type the whole thing over again. So be aware of that you must type carefully and spell every word correctly. There, I got that one right. Okay, as you can see now, I've completed the exam. You can see that I missed several things. These are the things that I'll be reviewed on when uh, I go through the uh, actual uh, teaching portion of this. So once I'm finished, <clears throat> notice I made a 90% on this. Once I'm finished, I can just click uh, back to assignment details. And again, notice uh, that it shows my pretest there. Now I want to take the lesson. Now at this point, notice you've got this link right here. If you think you know this stuff and want to go ahead and take the post test, that's great. You can skip the lesson. I wouldn't advise it. I would advise it spending some time in the lesson. Let's take a quick look at the lesson. And notice <clears throat> it's just simply going to review me on how to do these things. It'll tell me in the text right here. I can read through this. Okay, I can actually try this live on my own, uh, my own version of Office 2013 by downloading this file and just trying it myself. I can go through the show me. 
double clicking that will actually to align text horizontally on the home take me through a video of how to do that I can close that out when I'm done I can do a guide me option double clicking that notice it says for me to change the text I can otherwise I can try to do this and it will then correct me if I'm wrong so I can work through this myself once you're finished this box will automatically close. I'll show you change the text so that it is justified. That would be that box button right there. Correct. I click continue and it will close in four seconds or I can close it myself. Then the last one I can do is let me try. Now it doesn't give me any directions. I just have to try to solve the problem. If I click wrongly, it tells me it's incorrect and it tells me what to do. So can I get it right, correct, click to continue, and it takes me back. So working through this now, this wasn't the only thing I missed. You should have buttons on the side here. It's not showing on mine. I have a touch screen. So I can, I'll can just swipe across. Notice now it shows the, the back and forward buttons here that you can click. Now it's going to talk about saving files to SkyDrive. That was another thing that I missed. I can go through this, and I can keep clicking through this. Uh, until I'm actually finished with everything. And notice I'm, I'm, I'm done with everything I need to review. And then by clicking on the page here, notice in the, in the blank part of the page, notice I get a control bar at the top. And again, over here, I can go look at the pages that I may want to have missed or skip back around. I can go look at the pages that I need to be instructed on that I've just gone through. I can close that. I can bookmark a page if I want to. I can change the size of the text. If you want to make the size of the text a little bit bigger, then you can increase the size of your font so you can see that. See how that worked? I've got a little bit bigger text now. And finally, when I'm done, I can click the exit quit. I want to exit yes. Now I'm back. I've done my work in the lesson. I can say, go ahead and skip the lesson from this point on. Once I've done that, now I can take the post test. The post-test is the same, looks exactly the same as the pre-test did. And basically I can work through this post-test, start the exam. Again, there's only four questions in here because I only had four things that I missed on the pre-test. So it's only chosen four questions to test me over. So I've just got to get these four questions right to go ahead and get my 100 because it's taking what I already know on the pretest that I got right and there's not much left for me to do on the post test here so I just need to finish this assessment and then I'll be good to go. So if you do well on the pretest then the post test is going to be shorter. Okay notice I took the post test but I still missed one. I go back to assignment details Okay, so I've got two more times at the post test. I'll go ahead and take the post test again. Start the exam. And it's going to ask me to go through the post test one more time. Okay, okay I've taken the exam again. You notice this time I've scored 100 on it. So as I move back, I have my 100. And I am... I'm finished with this lesson. I've done all I can do here. And so notice I'm done. And you will get 100 in the gradebook. And then you can move on to the next sim path. So if you have any questions about these, please contact me. Once you get used to this, I think this is going to be a really efficient way for you to work through learning how to use the Microsoft Office products.